Hello Indian people! In this video I'll show you how to get free images and illustrations for your website. And obviously they will be royalty free. First I'll show you two image libraries where you can just download the images, you don't need to uh, add any attributions or anything like that, and use it for your projects. And after that I'll show you a few options for illustrations. And then I'll show you an online tool called Canva.com uh, which is basically a image library and editing software. So it's a place where you can edit all your images. And then at the end, I'll show you quickly how to compress your images so that they're optimized for a website. After this video, your website will be full of stylish images like this. Sexy Bill hugging a computer. Tape sweat punch. So the first website is onsplash.com. So head to Google and type in unsplash.com and just click on the first link. Here you can see unsplash and they have a lot of images. And here at the top you have different kinds of categories so you can click on that. Let's say we're a bit more into business so let's click on that and you can see there's a lot of different kind of images or if you have something specific you're thinking about so let's say website going to type in website and you see I'm starting to get all kinds of images and what I like about Unsplash I do think the images are a bit more artsy I guess a bit like this movie brother Hogan look I told you not to brother me so if you look here you have also collections which are makes it a bit easier to find what you're looking for so here website and you see they're really high quality images and uh, I think they work in uh, a lot of different contexts. So what's cool is, let's say I would like to take this one. You can click on the image. And if you like this image, you can just come here on the arrow. If you click on it, you can select which size you can download. I don't think you need the original size. The medium should be more than enough. Or if it's in your inside your blog post, you can just go with 640. Just uh, I'll take the medium and then it'll ask me to save it. Yes. And that's it. Now you have an image that you can use on your website. Arnie, what kind of image you put on your website? Just bodies. As you can see, Unsplash has a bit more artsy feeling to it. So if you want a bit more traditional, the next website is awesome for you. It's called pexels.com. Go to Google and type in pexels. And you see the first option. Just click on it. And here you go. You see they already start suggesting things. The cool thing about the Pexels is they also have uh, videos. So for example, if you want to have a video on your website or in your website's header, just head to videos. And here you can see you can select one. So let's say I want this final. I just click on it. And it looks almost the same as in Unsplash. So here at the top, you can select what kind of quality you want here. So for videos, it's obviously a bit different. So let's say it's for my website. I don't want it to be too big. So I'll take the HD and click on free download. And it will start downloading. And let's take a look at the photos. So let's say you're looking for something like meetings. And here you start seeing images. You can see it's a bit more stock photo like. So maybe some of you like that more. That's why I wanted to also give you this alternative. But they're all high quality and the best part, obviously, they are free. Again, here, if you click on the image, you can just download it directly here, the original size, or you can select one. Medium should be more than enough. Free download. Otherwise, your images will load like this. Come on. Come on. Load. Okay, if you're looking for illustrations, these two are not the perfect ones. They don't have really that many options. So here's a few options where you can find good illustrations for your website. Unfortunately for illustrations, there's not really a big image library or one website where that has a lot of free resources. So there's a couple that I found. So here's the first one. It's called illustrations.co. And here you can see they have some, some icon. So let's say I just want to have some, some dude like this one. So then I can click SVG or PNG. If I click on PNG, I see the image. And then if I right click on the image, I can select save image as. And then you can just save it. No problemo. 
The next one is Andro.co. And I like this one. The website is a bit weird maybe to use, but basically what you need to do is you come here and click on browser now, and then you have different kind of illustrations here. So let's say I'm doing something for online video here. I would like this illustration. So I'll just download the SVG or uh, the PNG and say file. And they have more options here, so obviously. And I find this is a bit more for businesses. And if you won't really want high quality illustrations, this is the place for you because as you can see, it's, it's really a bit more um, business oriented. They have a lot of options here. Just goes on and on. And the third website is manypixels.co. So here, if you click on more and go to illustration gallery, you can see here there's different kinds of illustrations. What I like about this one, right here on the page, you can change the colors. So the background color will change as I change it here. And so if you have certain color scheme on your website, this is perfect because you can just pick it here and uh, and then download it. So let's say, okay, this is Easter, not really relatable. You can search for stuff here, business. Here you have different kind of business people. Let's say this entrepreneur, I click on it. Here I can either download the SVG or download the PNG. JC, how does that sound? Oh yeah, it's, it's good stuff, man. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. Now, I know this video is about free images, but sometimes you just can't find the image that you're looking for. For that, you can check out Photodune and Graphic River. These places have like thousands of images and illustrations and even templates for certain type of things like, uh, I don't know, social media. Just check them out if you're really out of options. Lastly, let's take a look at Canva.com. And it's actually Image Library plus a editing software in one. And I love Canva. I've covered it before and I'm really biased because I'm so in love with it. No, Bill, we're not talking about Microsoft. The cool thing about Canva is that you can grab the image from another website and put it in Canva and then edit it there, put it in a template, whatever you want, and then publish it on your website. So next one is Canva.com. I'll leave the link in the description. Just click on it and you end up on this page. And then if you don't have an account, just sign up. There's no need for credit cards or anything like that. It's super simple and straightforward sign up process. Just get an account and then you'll see your homepage. It looks like this. And here you can choose all kinds of photos, for example. So here, I don't know. Let's search for a happy guy you're looking for a happy guy for your website so here you have some similar options to some other stock photo sellers but uh, you can see they also cost so they have premium but also free ones and let me show you how you can you can filter out the free here so these you can use that's quite a lot of them actually Arnie tell us a riddle hey you want to be a farmer Here's a couple of acres. Now, the cool part about Canva is that you can come here and you can select what kind of design you want. Let's say I want an infographic. You could do that. So I'll collect, select that one. And you have all these templates. Most of them are free. Some are premium, but they'll tell which ones. So you can select this template and you can start updating stuff here. So you can change this to whatever you need. And also the cool thing is you can upload your own photos here or you can select any photo from here. So let's say I want something with the free one. So this one, it adds the picture there. I mean, it's, it's not very nice right now, but you can resize it, put it wherever you need it to be. In this case, it doesn't fit. I'm going to delete it. And you can also just upload your own image. So here, I'm going to just drag it to this box. Let's say this one that we just downloaded before. It's going to load it. And then you can just drag and drop it here. And you can use it 
as you please. So this way you can actually combine Canva with the other websites. Uh, I like using Canva for pretty much any design I need just because there's so many templates. So for, for example, this for, just for infographics, but you have logos, you have thank you cards. I mean, all of these are just different kinds of templates for, for anything you need. It can range from business cards to website related stuff to event invitations like this. May I see your invitation, please? Sure. Here's my invitation. Disclaimer, Tips with Punch doesn't endorse blowing up stuff like Cardi. It's dangerous and against the law in most states. Oh yeah, one last thing before uploading your image to a website, make sure it's compressed. You can use a website like a tiny PNG or better, if you're using WordPress, just get a plugin called Resmush It and it will compress everything for you when you're just uploading the image. The last website I wanted to show you is image compression and here it's called tinypng.com and I'll leave the link in the description once you're here. Just go to your image. Let's say I want to do this one. I'm going to just drag it here and drop. And you see it will compress it and it saves 51% of space. And this means your website can load much faster. And this is something that your that Google looks at and also your users. If you have a lot of images in a blog post or something, the faster your page loads, the better it is for users. If you're using WordPress for your website, then I really recommend you getting a plugin like Rismush it. Here you can see it. What it does is when you upload an image to your website, it automatically compresses it while you're uploading. So it, it's all automatic. You don't need to do anything and it's free. All, all my images on my website are compressed with this plugin. The quality is good and it really does a good job in compressing the images. My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh!